The other day I was checking out one of my online courses because a customer was having a hard time accessing it. And I found that a Syrian hacker team took down almost my entire company, right? So this team of hackers, they, it was like Team Mesopotamia. They put some like default script on there. And they took down almost all my websites that were not on a private server, which means I lost programs from years ago. I basically almost lost my company if my key websites were not on this private domain. And I lost a lot of me. What's more important to me is some of my most creative work, like my best articles from early on in my career. And as far as I know, they're all gone. But in this video, I'm going to share some of the lessons I learned that I think will help you. Because this is one of those things that blindsided me. I never in a million years could have predicted. I did the things I thought backed up my business, my company, my livelihood, how I live. But with all things, there's a silver lining. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. So one thing I want to think about is like now in this era, hacking is a really big deal, right? Like companies with billions of dollars get hacked and they lose a lot of money and they lose a lot of customers. But what it made me think of, because I didn't really lose that much money, even though it affected my business and I did lose some, it made me think like, what's the cost of losing creative work? Because now everyone puts their stuff on the internet and some of the best things I've ever produced now are videos. So what happens if YouTube goes away? What happens if someone decides to hack my YouTube channel and they just delete every video? Like, how am I protected against that? I had these articles on a website called Milk the Pigeon, which was my first foray into putting content on the internet. Some of my best articles, most inspirational I've ever published, are on that website. And that was the main thing that I'm sad that I lost, that I ended up losing. And it was how a lot of you found me today. Like, you started following me from the early days of Milk the Pigeon. And I think... Those articles, like I've had people email me and say they decided not to kill themselves because of those articles I've written, which is crazy. And now, like, I don't know why anyone would want to hack me. I don't think it was a deliberate attack to me, but what's the cost of losing creative work? Especially because now we publish it all on the internet. The other thing it made me think of is that you often don't know where you're weak and you're vulnerable until you get hit. And you think of this a lot where, you know, people are living like a, a health unconscious lifestyle. And they have a massive heart attack. And on some level, they knew they weren't eating well when they were like 70 pounds overweight or they had a huge gut or had shortness of breath or chest pain. But the realization doesn't hit them like a ton of bricks until they have that heart attack and they almost die. And that's when we kind of learn where we're most vulnerable, where we're struggling the most. It could be you're married and your wife comes home. She's like, guess what? I'm getting a divorce with you. And they, she's ready to file the papers right away, no discussion. And you say it hits you like it, it blindsided you. Or if a friend wants to end the friendship. Or if suddenly your company gets hacked or you get sued. Or some change happens and you lose your job. And you're like, I was one of the best people there. I, was, I, did my, I worked so hard. Why did this happen to me? And I think the thing is, it's impossible to cover every base all the time. Right? Like... Health, finances, relationships, fulfillment, happiness, free time, sleep, like they're all undulating, right? Ideally, most of the time they're humming at like seven, eight or nine or they're performing well, but then something happens and your health plummets for a bit or your relationship's going through a rough patch or your job is kind of on the line or there's an issue in the relationships in your life or with your kids or whoever. And I think it's important to understand that almost anything, maybe besides health, and besides relationships can be recovered from. Like almost nothing in that sense is really permanent. And so if you want to think about it as like the recovery, the bounce back, like the third part is that this weakness shows you the paper trail. It shows you how to get back to where you were, back to health, back to finances, back to abundance in every kind of form, back to a good relationship. Because you know, my wife divorced me because I wasn't that attentive and I put no effort on making it fun and special and unique and different now you know what not to do next time or you know what i thought i was living a decently healthy lifestyle but i had a heart attack and i almost died maybe what i thought was healthy is not anywhere close to healthy or i thought that i did everything right like in my company or in my day job obviously that's not true now i can reflect back on the paper trail which is my habits and my beliefs and i can see where i missed the boat and i was wrong 
So where does this leave me kind of going forward? Basically, if you're a student of mine, if you're a reader of Milk the Pigeon, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start mailing out my YouTube videos, my personal development ones, to the Milk the Pigeon audience, and I'm not going to be writing there anymore. If you're a paid student of any of my courses, there's nothing to worry about because it was not a financial hack. It was just a blog and website hack. So there's nothing to worry about on the financial side or losing your information, your credit card information, none of that. But like the saying goes by Napoleon Hill, in every difficulty, there's always the seed of an equal or greater opportunity. So for me, it was a call to simplify my life, let go of those other domains that were maybe complicating my life and my business, and this time protect myself going forward and knowing that you can't always foresee all the bad stuff coming you just have to roll with those punches and then when they show up, you can reverse engineer, where do I have to improve that domain of my life? And sometimes we are blindsided, sometimes we're blindsided, but everyone else saw it coming. So it's just that a really good opportunity to reflect when you just get the rug pulled out from under you. So I hope my misfortune gave you a couple useful lessons to reflect on in your life. Uh, before you go, comment there below and let me know for you, what was one of the hardest things in your life that truly blindsided you? Came out of nowhere. You did not see it coming. Your intuition did not feel it coming. Comment there below and let me know what you ended up learning from that experience. And again, you can grab that free kind of reinvent yourself goal setting worksheet and the first chapter of my book in the description box there below. And also you can check out my latest two videos right here and right here.